Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Anti-Trump NFL star gets face full of karma after mouthing off to wrong airport worker. People at the airport in Atlanta got quite a show from an NFL veteran and an employee wearing an orange vest as they started a fist fight out of nowhere. The incident was caught on camera as Adam Pacman Jones and airport employee Frank Ragin fought with closed fists over what appears to be a comment or gesture made by the employee towards Jones. From the looks of the video, it seems like the orange vested employee mutters something verbally towards Pac Man, then Pac Man responds back. After that, they walk towards each other and begin swinging fists as other people in the airport casually walk by, record, or completely ignore the outburst of violence. It might be Ragin that made the first physical assault, pushing or shoving Jones into the wall or what appears to be a metal cover to a store. Then Pac Man Jones fights back and the two men square up, throwing fists at each other and the airport employee goes down. Pac-Man Jones takes a swing and he's pulled off and away from the man who is on the floor. It must be embarrassing to be a millionaire athlete fighting someone in public while some girl dressed up like she's got a sugar daddy pulls him away. It must be embarrassing to get into a fight at work as well. The incident can be viewed on video below, courtesy of TMZ. NFL star Pac-Man Jones was involved in a violent altercation at the Atlanta airport, when he was attacked by an employee. TMZ Sports has learned. Jones had touched down at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport on Tuesday evening when cops say ABM employee Frank Ragin made a gesture towards Adam Jones. Officials tell TMZ Sports, Pac-Man confronted the man about the gesture and the verbal altercation broke out. Mr. Ragin eventually struck Mr. Jones with a closed fist, cops say, causing a laceration to Mr. Jones's face. Mr. Jones then started to defend himself, causing Mr. Ragin to fall to the ground. During the fight, cops say Ragin also hit Pac-Man's female companion, injuring her hand. Officials determined Ragin, not Pac-Man, was the primary aggressor and he was arrested for two counts of battery. Pac-Man and his friend declined medical treatment, but Ragin was transported to a nearby hospital to be treated for injuries. Cops say they are still investigating. After the fight and investigation, it appears that the airport employee was labeled as the instigator and was later charged with multiple counts of battery. The source also suggests that the man struck Pac-Man's female friend and she injured her hand, but she might have hurt herself while she was trying to break up the fight. The most embarrassing part of this entire situation is that two grown men were fighting in a public area over what? It was probably something completely stupid and irresponsible. For all the money that Pac-Man Jones makes chasing around a football and entertaining his fans, one might think the guy could act right in public considering the amount of privilege and opportunity he has. Even though he didn't start the fight. We have to wonder what made the airport employee go after Pac-Man in the first place. What really happened? 34-year-old Adam Jones played nine games with the Cincinnati Bengals in 2017 and has 11 years' experience in the NFL, but that dates back to 2005. The math doesn't add up, right? That's because he's had a few years off. Jones is no stranger to breaking the law. Regardless of the outcome of his airport fight, it's Jones who has been in the eye of the beholder quite a few times early in his career causing him to lose time on the field. Fights, arrests, conspiracies, shootings, and all kinds of trouble surrounded Jones early in his career. A fist fight in an airport sounds like a normal day on the job for the younger Pac-Man. Is it any surprise that another well-paid athlete finds himself in the spotlight for the wrong reasons? Sure, he was just defending himself this time, but this guy has a history of nonsense and who knows what really happened that day. What happened before someone started recording? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.